welcome back to the backyard. Everybody's getting their gardens planted now that the sun is out, getting, getting warm out. Just feels so nice. <laughs> yeah. And of course, you should be considering flowers. Why not? That attract butterflies to enhance that whole garden and summer experience. And here with us is Lisa Briggs from the Briggs Company. Hello. So Thanks you, for coming. So you want to plant flowers that attract butterflies? I think Do that's a really big thing now. Mm -hmm. and for pollinators in general yeah. is, is sort of a hot topic. So there are rules for butterflies for attracting to their to your yard. So you want to choose flowers that are really brightly colored. Uh, butterflies feed in the full sun, so you want to choose plants that are going to bloom in full sun. Um, they like what are called puddlers, so you want to add some um, uh, shallow saucers with some damp sand because okay. they kind of hang out there really? and feed. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. So we're going to plant a little container, butterfly container. Okay. Garden. So I've got a lot of things here. Pentis, Verbena, this is uh, Asclepius, Lantana, Salvia. These are all things that butterflies really like. And so the main rules of planting always apply. Container with good drainage. Run holes in the bottom. Yeah, it's got holes in the bottom. Mm -hmm. I don't want to tip it because I'll have <laughs> Then you'll have dirt everywhere, yeah. Yes. Um, good, well-draining potting soil, which is not necessarily dirt. So not topsoil. Not topsoil. Um, this is a uh, soil-release fertilizer. This happens to be Osmocote. Put that in there and then just start planting. So we're going to start with, this is a salvia, and these are all annuals. So we're going to put this salvia. When you take them out of the pots, if the roots look like this, kind of loosen them up. Really? Don't care. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I just kind of nestle them in there, pop them in. And there are perennials, too, that butterflies like. Yes. You can do things like lavender. Um, you can do butterfly bush, of course, butterfly weed. You know, anything that's got butterfly in it, they usually are really, there's a reason that that's in the name. Um, you want some things that are going to be upright, like the salvia. Some things in a container, you want to have them be more trailing. This is a lantana, and we also have a verbena there. I like the color combo. I love the way this smells. Oh, it does smell yeah. really good. You got that citrusy. right away. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of citrusy. You were talking about pollinators, Lisa. Do these also attract other pollinators as well, or are they specifically butterfly friendly? Um, these are sweeter plants. Okay. For other pollinators, like there are lots of beetles and things that will do pollinating, they tend to like things that are a little more... Not stinky, <laughs> but not necessarily very sweet sure. smelling. So bees aren't going to be attracted to this. Bees, bees will come to these okay. for sure. They're not not um, butter hummingbirds. Hummingbirds, hummingbirds, right. hummingbirds like flowers that have a longer what they call a tube. Mm -hmm. And butterflies like things that are a little bit shallower. So some things cross over, like this salvia will attract hummingbirds like nobody's business but butterflies like it too so a lot of the same rules will apply and it's pretty besides i know yes, that's the yeah, thing lots the of bright color and you want it really full and then you just fill in with the extra soil and voila and put it and in a sunny spot and you're off you're off to the races for not green thumbs like myself <laughs> uh not to you're not going very deep into here you don't no, need to go that this deep was, this was pretty full with soil and mm -hmm. i nestle them in and then i sort of backfill can, can now, you overplant with annuals, no. No, you can't. I, mean, I don't think so. Okay. Um, now, if you want to attract the first part of um, humming, uh, butterflies, which would be like caterpillars, then mm. there are different things that they would eat. So, like, um, uh, of course, uh, monarchs love milkweed. butterfly weed, love milkweed, mm -hmm. and tiger swallowtails are crazy about anything in the dill or carrot family. So, oh. fennel is really good, and they'll mm. strip it. And then you'll have the adults afterwards. <laughs> and they're so pretty. Yeah, they just so pretty. Just climbing up the garden, and, and you're helping them out at the same time. Absolutely. All right, Lisa. Great, great tips as usual. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, get thank out on the, you. Get out, get out in the yard. This I think weekend. it's yeah, finally right? time. It, it, it is. may be. We're hoping. We're past Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah, there's still some thunderstorm chances, but we can <laughs> dodge that. Thunderstorms are good. Yeah. yeah, yeah there you go. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> still the